Todd Cooperwriter with Esoteric and welcome to our FAQ series. Today's question is about lighting in the shop. Be it the lights we have on the ceiling, around the walls, lights we're, we're using, kind of an all-encompassing uh, topic. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the lighting in the shop. And there seems to be a little bit of confusion out there what you need, what color walls, what color ceilings that you need. It all depends on what you're trying to accomplish, uh, really. We have white ceilings, white walls, white floors here. Works out great. Some other people will say, no, you have to have a black ceiling. You have to really ask yourself, what do you want to accomplish in your shop? Now, up top here, we have T5 high output fluorescents. Uh, they're high bays. You need to make sure that you've got a taller shop to really be able to uh, uh, utilize those. If you've got a, a short one, it's not going to work uh, that well. So make sure that you've got uh, um, you know good coverage of all your lights. You can still have some dark spots uh, in it. On the sides of the walls, we have just your standard t 8 you know, your basic Home Depot stuff that, that you can pick up. And that for us was just to brighten the place up more and to get a little bit more lighting on uh, the side. You can go with uh, uh, LEDs. LEDs are a great uh, option. LEDs, depending on the size and style you can get, they can be really good for picking up defects uh, in the paint. This kind of light is still good for, for defects, but in the end, nothing is going to beat one of these little pen lights or something similar to it. I think I've told you before, you know, you can put me in the corner of a dark shop. As long as I have got one of these, I'm gonna be able to get full correction with no problems whatsoever. None of the lights that you have around your shop are going to give you um, the same kind of up close look and feel than what these are going to be. And then when it comes to the color of the shop and everything too, you know, what do you wanna accomplish? Do you want to really be able to showcase your cars? Customers walk in, you've got a well-lit shop, something great for photography. Um, you know, that typically is going to be the white wall and ceiling variety. You get uh, the ones with the black ceilings that all you see is the lights on top. That can kind of give you some cool geometric kind of uh, looks about it. But if you're going for straight up, you know, car photography, it's not necessarily uh, the best. And then, you know, you can also use uh, your lights like your Geon lights here uh, for looking for coating. You can have them on stands, you can move it around. Uh, that's good for flooding everything. But once again, when it comes to all out paint correction, nothing beats having one of these. Hopefully it gives you a little bit better idea of the kind of lighting and styles depending on what your wants and needs are. You want to learn a little bit more about some of the lights that we use on a regular basis or on a daily basis, check out the next couple of videos we're gonna link you to. As always, we appreciate you hanging out with us here on the Esoteric channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.